Huh? What? Come here. Come here. Come here. Are you going to hang with me or not? Nobody can see you, but they can hear you. Right? Right? What are you doing? Whoop. You know, this is not unfortunately a time that I can play with you, dear. Come on now. Come here. What? No. Come here. Come here. Come here to me. No, cat's not cooperating. <clears throat> but you wouldn't be a cat, huh? If you cooperated right away. Right? You got to do things your way, right? That's why we get along, I think, huh? Hmm. There we go. Stretch and do your best as you normally do. There you go. All right. Elsa's sitting right here. She just doesn't want to come over here. Right? Okay. All right. So let me answer one question that's been coming in quite uh, frequently is about floor bar. So, yeah, we kind of made a floor bar just very basic um, some time ago. So we're creating updated version now. So, look, the floor bar is, isn't... Mm, different conceptually than everything else it, it isn't a fact of doing specific exercises that makes any difference it's how you do them and what you're thinking about when you do them so again i'm going to show you exactly what to do and how to do and explain to you how to think about it because how you think about what you're doing determines obviously what happens and how your body reacts to it so it isn't, I mean, look, ballet, I, I keep saying this, I'm, I'm going to keep saying it. You see, ballet is an intellectual pursuit. It doesn't matter which side of it you're on. Obviously, the teaching, coaching, choreographic side is very, very heavy on, on the mind because you have to essentially, in a sense, predict what will happen and sort of come to, uh, how do I say this, better like, there's an objective, and you kind of work backwards from there in your mind, and then you make it happen going forwards. It's, 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 it's a massive intellectual pursuit. Dancing is also, but slightly different, obviously. So floor bar, again, it's, it's going to look simple, maybe look like there's not much to do, but this is not the case. There's a tremendous amount to think about while you're doing what, what, what will look like simple exercises, but if you do them with the understanding that I provide, they're not simple at all, you know? And you're gonna need, for sure, I'm, I'm gonna need to see some of what you're doing. So, you know, again, make videos, send them, and, and then I can go from there with corrections and stuff. So at some point, this has to become a back and forth um, kind of relationship, and we just have to figure out on the technical side how best to do that. How, how much, how to do it most efficiently. So the floor bar is coming along with everything else. I understand it's the beginning of the year, everything's getting started, the holidays are just ahead of us. So what, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a large uh, dump of classes, you know, uh, of various sorts, um, follow along class, you know, so kind of, I mean, you, you'll do class with Misha, Satlana. Um, floor bar stuff, we'll definitely do that, demonstrate that. And then um, we're going to spend time in Russia. I'll be coaching, <clears throat> um, not just coaching, like in the classics, some of that maybe, but creating choreography. And so you'll see how I coach professional dancers and that. So all of that stuff is coming. Um, but we're going to begin with, you know, floor bar, facing the bar, start with one hand on the bar and, and just start going through it, you know. So I understand that the time, time is an issue and I need to get this stuff out to you as quickly as possible. I understand that, we're working on it. <clears throat> we're also moving and stuff, so I'm gonna give you some stuff before we move to tie you over until we get our studio set up and everything uh, in California. So you know, you're gonna kinda get this view, not ideal, I would rather have more room, but, uh, and we will in California. Okay, so that's, that I think answers that question. Um, there's one more question that I have to answer, I think. Um, what is it? I just had it on my mind. I'll have to get back to you on this one. <laughs> I'm going to look real quick. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember now. Okay, I got it. Okay, we did a podcast. I, I don't even know how long ago, but it was podcast number 16. 
and we're at 200 and I don't know what. So, um, yeah, it was called the power of stillness. Stillness is, um, boy, this is a really important concept. And it's one that we will demonstrate. Again, it, we're, we're talking about classical dance. You need to see what I'm talking about, but I'll just touch on it because it's a question. Um, st so this is an in and up thing too, by the way. So within placement, certain parts of your placement need to move according to actual dancing, right? And so moving things loosely around is very easy. Isolating what moves when and to what extent, not easy. And this is what classical dancing is. It's the ability to, to leverage parts of your body with the other parts of your body and being able to choose how how mobile those parts are in any given moment while dancing to music and on stage and that kind of thing, right? So this brain, so the, I'll just give you a quick example. So the in and up, the, the, how you set up your core, the in doesn't ever move. And it's, and that's the toughest thing to get really one of the tough, the back is trickier, but, and this seems simple, just in simple concept, fairly simple to do in the floor bar. That's what floor bar is for, by the way, it's mainly a core thing. Um, but to move and hold it, this is tough. This is tough stuff, right? I mean, it, it's not tough technically. It's, it's, it's tough to build the strength of the lower abs. In, and it's not a question of like doing crunches or something. This, the, this is the opposite of what we need here. It's a position to, that you have to hold and you have to get so comfortable holding it that it's intuitive that your, your, ab, your lower abs where your belly button is just stay that, that way. That's where we're going, right? Whereas the upper part has to be able to move, and I'm th more in arabesque than anything else, it's an arabesque thing, but because the expression, to express something on stage or on film, whatever, it, it involves the, it'll look like the chest area to the audience, but it's your back that does it. And so the, the in stays, the, the up has to move according to your back. So it's in partnership with your back. So if this is your, 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 you got your in, your up, your up, sorry, your in, your up and your back and your back and your up are partners in how much you move your back. So this would be like a ponche type of thing, anything with port bra, uh, port bra forward, port bra back. It's, it's, this is how you operate your upper body in terms of expression. Right. So for the time being, it's a very technical thing to do. It's a strength building thing. It's coordination. It's I've already talked about this, but where it counts is on stage. And this is what's lacking in ballet, uh, in ballet performances um, everywhere. It's this understanding of this coordination and it, it, it's very specific, requires a lot of strength in a very coordinated way. So. Did I answer the question? So stillness. So what that's all about is that let's, let's just, I'm going to give you a very straight example. And there are, there's a lot of nuance here that is possible, but let me just answer the question. So stillness where stillness comes into play. And I think we have a video clip. Hopefully it will get through YouTube without some copyright nonsense. Uh, so right here, this is Ulanova. I think it's Ulanova is the one doing the coaching. She's coaching a ballerina. This is many years ago, I think. 80s or something 90s maybe and just watch how she moves just as a person she's in you know she's already older woman and retired and everything and you if you notice how her upper body her body just doesn't move right her hips and her core just don't move like she's just walking and coaching and the port de bras is phenomenal phenomenal port de bras and it's but what's phenomenal about it isn't the port de bras them it's not her arms specifically it's her back and her core and her hips and how they are coordinated. So once you can control your body and create that stillness, your arms take on a very different character. Your port bra is what I'm saying, right? Same with your spot, by the way, same with your head and I, so all the Vaganova stuff, which is brilliant, beautiful, depends entirely on you being strong as hell in your placement. It doesn't go the other way. You, you cannot layer, port bra and head and eyes and all of that onto a weak, uncoordinated body. It doesn't work that way. 
You have to have the back, the core, the hips, the legs strong, coordinated. Then we can talk about art. And this is something I've been saying for a long time. This is why when we get into this Vaganova discussion, it, it's just, it's irrelevant unless the dancer is strong and coordinated. It's, it's just absolutely silly to think that you can free up arms and head and eyes when the body's not coordinated and strong. So that's the answer. To, so that's what still, see, stillness, look, when you're creating, see, this is what frustrates me, but when we talk about the end product, the performance, it doesn't matter on stage, on film, whatever. And this, this is my issue with chore choreographers, who, who, particularly contemporary people who kind of fancy themselves as ballet choreographers, and they're not. And let me tell you what they don't understand, and they're not capable of creating, is what moves an audience, it's a visual art form. And so you want to direct the audience's attention, this is as a choreographer, in a specific way to create specific feelings about what they're seeing. It's a psychological, it's an understanding of psychology also, but you want to direct their attention to certain things, right? Which is easier to do on film because you can point the camera, but on stage, you still want to do that. You want to take them through a visual story and that story is told through their feelings, the way they feel about what you're presenting. Okay. And there are specific sort of basic techniques of how to do that. These are the things you learn if you study choreography with knowledgeable people. And you understand that what happens on stage is determined by the fundamentals. Without the fundamentals, you, you don't have any tools with which to influence an audience. You don't have the capability of doing it because you can't coach the dancers accordingly. And on and on it goes, the lecture that I've told a few times. But the, the key to an audience is that the ability to isolate parts of the body and specifically the port bra and the head and the eyes, right? People watch the upper body. This is just a, a psychological fact, okay? Now, if you're doing something interesting and exciting with the legs, that will take attention for a moment, but then they're right up watching your face and upper body, right? So from, you know, your, your, your belly button up, okay? Well, the legs are not easy, but it's much easier to move the legs than to create art and feelings with your upper body and your face because people are tense. Dancers are loose down below, therefore they're tense up above and we've got a reverse situation. The legs need to be powerful to propel you around the stage. The upper body is powerful, but if it's powerful enough, you don't see that. You don't see the power. Watch Ulanova, how she moves, how she demonstrates Porta Bra. It's absolutely brilliant. It's just spot on. It just doesn't get much better than that. And that's about creating stillness. And to create stillness, it's only done one way. Flexibility is loose, not still. It's loose and wobbly and uncoordinated. Wrong. Stillness is created by one, well, two things, but it's the same thing. Really, it's strength and coordination. And that's how this gets done. So hopefully that answers your question. And so placement is the way, is the mechanism and the methodology by which we create strength coordination, which gives you stillness. Then we can talk about the art. I mean, one of the things that's irritating personally, and, and this relates to what I've done in New York, which I'm gonna talk about in another podcast, is just that I maybe was able to with Misty, I'm saying, I was able to m present or deploy maybe 15% of what I'm capable of because we just didn't have enough time and enough, you know, the circumstances with which to create ballets and stuff like that. So, because as I've said before, there is no such thing as ballet choreographically without all of this stuff coming first. I'm not sure why this is, a, a, I know it's not difficult for you all to understand, but I mean, I've, I've debated people that should know better. Like uh, one of the editors at large or whatever of, of Dance Magazine, you know, I said, look, the art emerges from the fundamentals and the reply was, I'm not convinced. Well, okay, if, you, if you're not convinced of a fact that applies to everything in reality, then I guess you're just not a person that can be convinced with reason and logic and facts. 
okay. But it's frustrating to me because I know what I'm capable of doing and I haven't yet ever been able to really do it yet. Now that's going to change, of course, and, and that's what comes next. Um, because there is no talking about fundamentals and technique without considering the end result, which is the choreography, which is the performance, which is the point of all this. And likewise, you cannot be a choreographer, a classical ballet choreographer, and not fully have mastered all of this stuff. You can, it cannot be done. It, it's, it's like trying to create poetry in a language you don't speak. There's a, it's a literacy thing, right? Ballet placement is a language. It's a language of the body. It, it, it's some weird hybrid of it's like a language of the body based in the math. It's like the math of the body and then there's sort of a, a linguistic component there. And that's what we're dealing with here. That's what this is. You know, like it or not, this is what it is. And this is what created the great stars of the 20th century who, whom we all admire. And there is no other way than to accept this as a fact and get to work. But of course, you know, you bring up the word work, this, you, you know, I'll lose some percentage of, 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 of the you know, professional ballet world. And this is why I'm focusing on, you know, people who want to get in touch with the truth about ballet and just start learning, start doing the work and start succeeding. This is what this is. Okay. Long-winded answer to a fairly short question. Okay. It's, it's for now.